Morning Tariq with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. This morning there shall no evil befall thee. You will not fall before the end of the journey. You will not die halfway in this journey. That vision the Lord has showed you. That revelation the Lord has revealed to you. And that picture he had painted on the canvas and said, that is your place. Nothing will stop you from getting there. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall keep his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. You will make it in Jesus' name. Join us again, same time tomorrow, for Morning Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumi. Here is your Morning Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. This morning, I am as bold as a lion. You will not run away from your accommodation. All those people that are saying, run out, run away, go out. We don't want you in this place. They are the people that will pack out for you. You will not run away from school. All those bullies that say they are not happy you are there and they are saying, what have you come for? What have you come for? You will remain. You will not avoid that examination you are supposed to take. I said you will not run away from the examination hall. All the people that are saying, what why are you wasting your money? Why are you booking for it again? You know you are not going to make it. They are the people that will withdraw. You are moving on. I said you are moving on. In Jesus' name we pray. Join us again, same time tomorrow, for Morning Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumi. I look back and this morning there shall no evil befall thee you will not fall before the end of the journey you will not die halfway in this journey that vision the lord has showed you that revelation the lord has revealed to you and that picture he had painted on the canvas and said that is your place. Nothing will stop you from getting there. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall keep his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. You will make it in Jesus' name. Join us again, same time tomorrow, for Morning Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumi. Here is your Morning Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumui. This morning, Jesus said, Come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And all this adversity coming from this direction, and that direction, rest has now come. The days of adversity are over. I rejoice with you. Sometimes Satan, with all these uh, cohorts, they stay somewhere hidden, and you can't see them. And they're shooting arrows at you. And if that thing strikes you, if it doesn't kill you, you'll be nursing the wonder of an arrow. Instead of getting up, doing your work, building what the Lord wants you to build, you will be spending all your prayers, all the fasting, all the attention 
all your money in hospital bills but from this day that thing will stop let discouragement turn to courage let despair turn to strength in every life in jesus name join us again same time tomorrow for morning tonic with dr w f kumui Selling coaching and consulting online without using social media. Congratulate you this morning. I'm telling you, every chain will be broken. Anything that tied you down, call it Satan, call it sickness, call it evil spirit, call it a yo, call it a bondage. Anything that ties you down, there is a glorious escape for everyone today. There's a power coming from the throne. And that power coming from the throne will touch you this morning. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. And when you escape, you escape into the mountain top. Poverty is cancelled. Sicknesses are cancelled. All deformities and the works of the devil of the flesh, they are cancelled in Jesus' name. Join us again, same time tomorrow. For Morning Tonic with Dr. W. F. Kumui. Here is today's Tonic with Dr. W. F. Kumui. The victory in your life will be permanent. All those who have been healed, your healing will be permanent. All those who have been delivered, your deliverance will be permanent. You will enter every open door. Your ticket is coming. Your life must be a wonder. Your profession, the work of your, you touch something like this, it will turn to prosperity. Good news must come to your life. This day, nobody will chain you down. Nobody will tie you down. You will rise up. You will move on. Something good will happen to you. Your blind eyes will open. You will know your helper. You will see your helper. Your helper will take you to the place of destiny. There will be no lack. There will be no loss. There will be no limitation in your life. You are free. And that's today's tonic with Dr. W. F. Kumi. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumi. You are hearing about the love of God for you. You might be the vilest of all sinners. You might be at the lowest point of your life. You might be so sick as if there is no hell. The hands of Satan and of demons might be around your neck. That place where you are, the Lord will touch you. The Lord will raise you up. The Lord will turn your life around. God sent me to you that those tears are wiped away. That those blind eyes will be opened. He sent me to you to get you out of that wheelchair. He knows what you are suffering. He knows what you are going through. And he said, your day has come. Something good is coming your way. A miracle will drop on your head. That cancer will dry up. That impossibility will be possible. And that incurable disease will vanish away. You will look at yourself. You'll be a wonder to yourself. You'll be a wonder to your neighbors. You'll be a wonder to your parents. I will hear your testimony. And I will carry your testimony back to the Lord. And I will return with joy. In Jesus' name I pray. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumi. Get your free... Here is your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. This man was working in a restaurant 
And while walking there, he saw that they were, you know, skin all this um, chicken and all that and put in the, in the freezer for, for the time they're going to use it eventually. And then he said, you know, but I need all this at home. Therefore, he will take, you know, one of those pieces and put it under his clothes and then he will, you know, go out. And he did that almost every day. And eventually the people, they say, ah, something is happening over here. Who is always stealing the chicken here? And eventually one day, he also wanted to do it. And every time when he wants to he'd look right, he look left and see if there's anybody there. And the ones there's nobody there, he'll dip his hand into the prison and take something and close it up and then go his way. But one of the people there said, I will know who does this every day. And he went to the ceiling. And then he punctured a hole around the ceiling. And then when they had closed and everything, he quickly went to the ceiling and he was looking down, looking down. And our man, he looked this way, looked that way, removed it under and then was going. And that man up there saw him. The following day when they came back, uh, when we, they came back to work, the fellow went to uh, confront him and said, you are the fellow we have been looking for. You are the one stealing the chicken. He said, how can you say that? I saw yesterday come. You see the fridge here? Look at that hole. I was there yesterday and gave him the time. When he took that, they said, I'm sorry. I said, okay, not that you're sorry. From now on, you will do overtime for me, and then I will take the money. He said, I, I don't, I'll report you to the manager. Okay, I will do it. He did over time, and then the money went to the other man. The following day, hey, today, I need to go somewhere. Do over time for me. And I want to say, if you don't do it, I'm going to tell. And then, okay, I will do it. And so the man said, I'm going to do something. Whatever it will take. So he went to the manager himself. He said, Manager, I want to tell you something. I'm so very sorry. I've been stealing chicken from the prison. I'm sorry about it. I've repented that. I will never do any of that anymore. The manager said, since you can come to confess by yourself, that's all over now. So he was very happy. His uh, other boss called him and said, hey, come on here. You're going to do overtime for me. He said, me? Not on your life. I'll go to the boy. He said, can I, can I take you there? Let's go there. And then the fellow realized that the man was not afraid anymore because he made his way right. Hello, here with Dr. W. F. Gumi. Anywhere you are, any nation you are, any place you are born, any place you are living, when you connect with the Redeemer, connect with the Messiah, connect with the Lord Jesus Christ, and you say, He is my Savior, He is my Redeemer, your name will go among the people that will sing the glorious song on that day. My name is there already. I said, my name is there already. If there are thousands of people that will be there, why should you be missing? What, what are you going to be doing? Will you say you never heard that Jesus came to this world and that he shed his blood and that he gave himself so that you will be saved? What? What are you going to say? What story are you going to tell? If you are not there, you must be there. I said you will be there. The mark of the blood of the Lamb be upon the lintels of your houses. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Have you come under the protection? Have you come under the provision? Have you come under the redemption of the Lord Jesus Christ and the mark of his blood? 
when I see the blood, I will pass over you. That night, the angel of death passed through the whole of the land, and then everywhere the mark of the blood was, the person inside might be weak, the person inside might be an illiterate, the person inside might be a nobody according to the reckoning of the world, but once the blood of the lamp is there, death will pass over. That nation will pass over. Whoever you are, and however you feel about yourself, I am not this, I am not that, only have the mark of the blood of the Lamb upon your heart, and calamity will pass over you. You can make the right choice today. Make Jesus your friend. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumui. Whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise cast off. And I pray, receive them into your kingdom in Jesus' name. Show them your mercy. Offer them your grace. Grant them the forgiveness and set them free from their sin and the condemnation of every sin. I pray that you write their names in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, every yoke, every cause is broken and taken away. Set everyone free. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Take it in, check yourself, and let's know the beautiful change that's happening to you. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. You are going a particular direction. And I say, what are you looking for? I'm looking for joy. I'm looking for peace. I'm looking for forgiveness. I'm looking for acceptance with God. I'm looking for everlasting life. If that's what you're looking for, that road you are taking is the broad way. It will not take you there. Turn 180 degrees. Nobody here will dodge the blessing of the Lord. The Lord, God of heaven, has sent Jesus to bless you in turning away everyone from his iniquity. You're turning from your iniquity, you're turning from your transgression, you're turning from the seas that have followed you and ruined your life until this time, and you want salvation, you want a change, you want a transformation. You want a turning around. This is your chance. Don't dodge. Just raise up your hand and say, here I am. Even when you are alone by yourself with that hand said, just raise up your hand. A penetrating conversion will come into your life. Just tell the Lord, Lord, thank you. Your thought of me, thank you. You have brought salvation to me, thank you. You have brought conversion unto me, thank you. You have sent Jesus unto me to be my Savior. Thank you, Lord. I turn away from my sin. I turn away from the things that have ruined my relationship with you. I accept, I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all your creatures, the people that realize your love, that you love them, and you have sent Jesus to save and forgive them and set them free. Lord, I pray that connection will happen right now, and there will be real conversion in Jesus' name. Confirm that compassion, that transformation, that salvation right now. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Have a sister there, and the Lord tells me to tell you, blessed is she. Have a brother there, have a son there, and the Lord sent me to talk to you, and he says, wipe away your tears and remove all the heartache. Blessed are you. Congratulations. Things have turned around. Things are no more the way they were before. Yes. And I'm sure you're blessed. It's your season to enjoy the tonic. We invite you to like, share, subscribe, and reach out to Dr. W.F. Kui on his pages so you can have a personal touch and get more of this therapeutic tonic. Believe me when I say it will refresh and nourish you all day long. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumui. The miracle of Christ is to save. How long will you search for miracles and power? Beware, the devil's aim is to steal and destroy. The miracle in the Bible that is coming from the right source is to make us repent, is to make us turn to Christ. But the miracle of the devil, the miracle of the beast, the miracle of the Antichrist is to turn our mind, our hearts away from the Lord. He says, why well, are you looking for salvation? What do you want to repay? What are you looking for? You're looking for healing? Come on here. And then he gets them into a corner and he rubs something on them and then temporarily something changes. And then he says, now that I give you that, you must be my slave and servant forever. You cannot get anything from Satan free. You cannot get miracle like that free. He doesn't have grace. He doesn't operate by grace. He doesn't operate by mercy. He doesn't operate by love. He operates on, I give you this, but you sell your soul to me. It's only Christ that can come and give everything free, salvation free healing free deliverance free he healed 10 lepers he didn't take the healing from them he gave free you can make the right choice today make jesus your friend just say this simple prayer with dr kumui in the name of jesus i pray for all these who have responded to your invitation and they have come to you as sinners Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them pardon, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life, and the joy of salvation in Jesus' name. Give them peace of mind that all the confusion in the heart of the sinner, everything is taken off in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. It's your season to enjoy the tonic. I'm free. Rest up that hand, rest up that hand. Father, in Jesus' name. I bring all your people before you. And I'm asking, oh Lord, any sickness, I command you sickness. Come out in Jesus' name. Cancer be healed in Jesus' name. And any ulcer there, any pain there, come out in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Deaf ears be opened in Jesus' name. Paralysis, lameless, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. Stroke. You are healed in Jesus' name. Set everyone free. In Jesus' name we pray. Take it in, check yourself, and let's know 
the beautiful change that's happening to you. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. Kumuyi. You might have had messages, you might have had sermons. If you are not free, you have not known the truth. Free from sin, you know the truth about the Savior. Free from sickness, you know the truth about the great physician. Free from spirit, evil spirits and Satan. You know the truth about our conquering deliverer. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Walking with God will make you different. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Remember Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he never overlooks, he doesn't block his ears to the cry of any captive that wants to be free. And once you call upon him, ask, they shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. If you will come the same way they came, coming with faith, nothing doubting. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. You can make the right choice today. Make Jesus your friend. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumuyi. Whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise cast off. And I pray receive them into your kingdom in Jesus' name. Show them your mercy. Offer them your grace. Grant them the forgiveness and set them free from their sin and the condemnation of every sin. I pray that you write their names in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. It's your season to enjoy the tonic. No more sickness. Where are you? No more famine. No more joblessness. Where are you? No more curse in your life. It is done. I rejoice with you. It is done. Brother, by his stripes, you are healed. Sister, by his stripes, you are healed. Lord, I pray any kind of life threatening disease, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, give healing to everyone that is sick spectacular healing instantaneous healing and that sickness will never come back to your life again in jesus name take it in check yourself and let's know the beautiful change that's happening to you stay blessed my friend and don't miss the next one and that's your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. Kumuyi. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, under the shadow under the canopy, under the umbrella, under the shelter of the Most High God, under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, you see, there are people, when they come to God in prayer, they are like trembling, they are coming like slaves, come like a son, and come like the daughter of God that you are. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, you know. He is my fortress, he is my God, in him will I trust. Surely, 
it shall deliver thee surely there's no doubt surely it shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence it shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust his truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler have you ever seen those officers that pull the shield when something is thrown at them they put the shield out that thing that is thrown at you will not come to you it will strike the shield you are protected and preserved in jesus name thou shalt not be afraid i will not be afraid in the day in the night you'll not be afraid Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence or pandemic that walketh in darkness. What are you? Pandemic will not touch you. All those things flying about will not touch your family in Jesus' name. Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but but it shall not come near thee only with thine eyes shall thou see and behold the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation that's where you live because of that there shall no evil befall thee you will not sleep you will not be double crossed enemies will not lock in a corner and get you with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation in jesus name take it in check yourself and let's know the beautiful change that's happening to you stay blessed my friend and don't miss the next one and that's your tonic for today with dr w f kumuyi bye for now hello here is your tonic for today with dr kumuyi but godliness with contentment is great gain and you need to apply that to yourself personally ask yourself do i have grace ask yourself has god forgiven me ask yourself do i have salvation ask yourself do i have my name in the book of life ask yourself has god changed my life do i have righteousness do i have the gift of holiness that he gave to me do i have godliness and if the spirit of god is saying yes in your heart then you say praise the lord i have something the world does not have then he says he reminds us for we brought nothing into this world you know why people are fighting each other you know why people are kind of destroying each other something they didn't bring to this world when you came to this world God gave you the greatest thing you could have. You are the heart that could keep you alive. And you have lungs that could breathe. And you have eyes that could see. And you have feet that could walk. And you have hands that could move. And you have a body that could keep all those bones together. Or the bones that could keep the whole body together. And you were complete. And you didn't know there was any sand or cement or dust or stone or whatever. You were contented. It says, remember that. Remember that. And then live a peaceful life. Anxiety will get out of your life. Worry will get out of your life. Run in the rat race. Rat race with uh, Mr. Jones or Mr. Smith. All that will vanish away because what you have, you cannot uh, compromise that with anyone. We brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. We're having food and raiment, no worry. Having food and raiment, no sorrow. Having food and raiment, there's no anxiety. Having food and raiment, we're not having canal comparison with Mr. So and so. Canal comparison with uh, Mrs. So and so. We're going to school together. That doesn't matter. 
We went to college together. That does not matter. He's writing this, he's writing that. We brought nothing into this world, and that one you are talking about, he brought nothing to this world, and even though he may be writing this or writing that, you know what the Bible says? It's not going to carry anything out. You can make the right choice today. Make Jesus your friend. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumui. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all these who have responded to your invitation and they have come to you as sinners. Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them pardon, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life, and the joy of salvation in Jesus' name. Give them peace of mind that all the confusion in the heart of the sinner, everything is taken off in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. It's your season to enjoy the tonic. All the iniquity Jesus has taken away from you will never come back. All the condemnation the Lord has taken from you will never come back. All the punishment the Lord has taken away from you will never come back. For the joy of the Lord, for the celebration of the name of the Lord, and with victory in your soul, you'll be marching to victory every day in Jesus' name. I release you now into the power of the Lord. I release you into your victory. I release you on your journey. I release you into joy. I release you unto victory. I release you unto the fulfillment of every good thing in your life in Jesus' name. Take it in, check yourself, and let's know the beautiful change that's happening to you. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, welcome to another session of Your Morning Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. I come to tell you today, there is a sevenfold miracle in the blood of Jesus. And it is not through your effort, it's what he did already. He paid the price for you on the cross of Calvary. And you can have one, mercy for every sinner. Two, inheritance with the saints. Three, redemption from slavery. Four, atonement for your soul. Five, cleansing from all sin. Six, liberation from sickness. Seven, escape from eternal suffering. Sin separates from the blessings of God. There are some people, they think I'm a great sinner and therefore they're running away from God. No! You're a sinner. That's the reason you come to God. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away all my stain? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The sinner must run to the Savior. All you have to do is to say, Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I come. I have been far away. And I'll see Jesus share this blood for me. I come. And whosoever comes to me, I will in no wise reject. He will forgive your sin. He will write your name in the book of life. He'll say, because of the blood of my only begotten son, I show mercy to you. You are saved. You raise up your hand and say, yes, Lord, I want that forgiveness. I want that forgiveness. I just say, Lord, I come out of my sin. And I come to you, Jesus, my Savior. I believe that you died for me. I believe I have this forgiveness now by the blood that you shed for me. Now, the man of God will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise reject. Whatever they have done in the past, whatever, however terrible it may be, I pray, Lord, forgive them in Jesus' name. Take every guilt away. Take every condemnation away. And Lord, I pray the peace of God will settle in their heart. 
out. And now it's your time to enjoy the miracles and blessings from the throne of grace. I want to tell you today, your joy will become sevenfold. Your peace will become sevenfold. The power and the victory of God in your life will become sevenfold in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord will multiply in every heart. Thank you for the peace we have, overflowing peace. Lord, I pray your peace will multiply in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, wipe our tears away. Take the sorrows away. Take sickness away. Take burden away. And I pray that this day will be a day of joy, a day of power, a day of miracle. A day when the anointing breaks every yoke in every life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. We believe you have been blessed. Take it in, check yourself, and let's know the beautiful change that's happening to you. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, welcome to another session of Your Morning Tonic with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. What are the things that actually bring temptation, the causes that we can trace and identify so we can be very careful in our lives? Number one, inordinate affection, or exaggerated desire for a perceived personal need may be used of the devil to bring temptation into our lives. When you have inordinate affection for something, you want that thing so much that uh, you are not thinking of the consequence of the paths you want to take, it may become a real serious temptation. When there is uncontrolled desire to have children by all means, or when there is some control desire to have healing by all means and you're searching for that healing and no matter where they say that healing is you will go there that becomes a source of irresistible temptation the love of money when you join the mad rush in this world to acquire property that thing becomes poisonous bait of temptation that has destroyed many people already and if you are not careful that thing to you can destroy you lost of the flesh and there is a terrible impatience to have a life partner i must get married now no matter what happens even if i have to compromise no matter what one i will have to do i must get married now i'm fed up with this single life i cannot be a single lady anymore a single man anymore i want a woman i want a man immediately that thing can be very dangerous and very serious too unchecked tendency to please men that thing to you can become a serious temptation when there is pressure unreasonable influence of our intimate relations and friends. When our relations are looking at our lives and they say they are pitying us and they say they are crying and they say that why are we still Christians? Look at the way you are and look at your family and look at the things happening to you. Why are you still going to church? Why are you still believing in holiness and this kind of life? When the pressure becomes much and that pressure or influence is unreasonable, be very careful at that time, temptation is coming. You can make the right choice today. Make Jesus your friend. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumui. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all these who have responded to your invitation and they have come to you as sinners. Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them pardon, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life and the joy of salvation in jesus name give them peace of mind that all the confusion in the heart of the sinner everything is taken off in jesus name thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray 
Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, welcome to another session of your morning tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Somebody has a dirty clothes and he wants this clothes to be clean, as white as snow and whiter than snow. And he says, uh, you know, I'm going to wash uh, this cloth. I'm going to wash it white. And he tries. He brings water, a bucket of water, and he puts it there, and he squeezes, and he squeezes. He looks at it. All the stains are still there. And then he tries again, and he squeezes in his own strength, in his own power, and the stains are still there. And somebody says, what are you trying to do? He says, I'm trying to wash this clothes, and I want it to be as white as white can be. And then how are you doing it? He says, I am, you know, putting all this, uh, look at all this water, and the scene is not uh, being cleaned. And the fellow said, step aside, and he takes that cloth from him, and he puts detergent inside the water. And without any effort at all, he puts it in like that, just rinses, and he brings it out. Hey, the thing is white. What you are trying to do by yourself, you cannot clean up your life by yourself. I will try, I will struggle, I will not tell you lie, I will, I vow, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. All that is trying, it doesn't bring the blood of Jesus in. And I'm saying, what are you trying to do? Somebody says, I'm trying to be clean, I'm trying to be holy, I'm trying to be righteous. How are you trying that? I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. It will not work, but the blood of Jesus comes over your soul you'll be clean. Do you know that you can make a complete change in your life? You're giving your life to the Lord solidly, sincerely, and you're not going to turn back anymore. You want to join the assembly of singing saints on high. You want that salvation now, wherever you are, just raise up your hand. The salvation will come. Tell the Lord quietly there, believingly there, faithfully there, Lord, I come. And I give myself unto you. And I will never turn back again. The man of God will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all those who have raised up their hands. I pray according to your promise, which cannot fail, that you bring your forgiveness, your redemption, your salvation unto them right now in Jesus' name. Let the assurance of that salvation come in their hearts right now. And let your spirit, the Holy Ghost, bear witness in their hearts. They are now children of God. Of family in every life in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And now it's your time to enjoy the miracles and blessings from the throne of grace. Raise up your hands for victory, Father. We thank you for what we have learned today. We know that on the final day when we cross over to that literal kingdom of the Lord, we'll be singing with the redeemed and ransomed and saved souls forever and ever. And we pray our joy will never come to an end in Jesus' name. All the foundation of the prisons in which we might find ourselves, all those foundations will be blown down in Jesus' name. And then darkness will become light. Sorrow will turn to singing. And sickness will be removed. And will continue the strength, in the power, and in the inheritance of the Lord in Jesus' name. And that's your tonic for today. Visit our social media platforms for a life-changing experience. Hello, welcome to another session of your morning tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Marriage is honorable in all 
and the bitch undefiled. But all mongers and adulterers, God will judge. Marriage is honorable in young people. Marriage is honorable in middle-aged people. Marriage is honorable in even marriageable widows and widowers almost everywhere, almost every time. Maybe there is no day we open our newspapers without seeing one form or the other of matrimonial cruelty and violence. And that's damnable in all. If we're living together as husband and wife, and yet the purpose of that marriage is not being fulfilled in the sight of God, there's cruelty, there's violence, there's deception, there is infidelity, there is hatred, and there is neglect. Neglect, when we neglect the other person, either the man is not providing the money for feeding the family and just neglects the family, both the wife and the children. That's damnable in the sight of God. And also matrimonial wickedness, just sheer wickedness that we do not do to the other as we want that other person to do to us is wickedness. Love your wives as Christ also loved the church. Is the love that forgives. Is the love that gives. Is the love that thinks of the good of the other person. Is the love that is selfless. Is the love that is sacrificial. And we're told, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. You can make the right choice today. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumuyi. Father, we thank you today. We bless your name for opening our eyes again once to see. We pray, Lord, all these things will be written on the tables of the hearts of everyone. That, Lord, all the grace we need, all the love we need, all the provision we need to take care of each other in the family, grant unto us in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, the model of Christ, the pattern of Christ, the example of Christ you have laid down for us. We pray the grace and the desire and the passion to follow through your grant unto us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. To listen to the whole of this message, visit our website or follow the link below. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. And that's your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. When Jesus saves, he saves from sin. When Jesus heals, he heals from sicknesses. When Jesus delivers, he delivers from oppression. Think about the healings of Jesus. This person was blind and he healed him. Was the blindness still there? And this person is sinner and Jesus saved him. Would the sin still be there? No. But then the sin is still there. And many people don't understand salvation means that you are saved from sin. You are delivered from sin. You are rescued from sin. You are taken away from that sin and the sin is taken away from you. Do you know that you can make a complete change in your life? You have been laboring. You have been sweating. You have been trying your best. And yet you have not been a conqueror. Sin has been conquering you. Evil habit has been conquering you, and offense is piling over offense. You don't even know where to go anymore. If you are coming with your heart, with your sin, with your burden, and you are coming to the Savior to save your soul, wherever you are, just raise up your hand. God bless you there. If you want Him to take away the guilt of your sin, and He says, Come unto me. As you raise up your hand, tell the Lord, Lord, I come. Just tell him like that, Lord, 
I come. I had your invitation. I come to you as a sinner. I take you now as my savior. And I confess with my mouth that now you are my savior. I confess and I believe in my heart that you rose from the dead and now you save my soul. You forgive my sin and you take the punishment of my sin away. I believe you have accepted me. I am forgiven. I am transformed. I am now a child of God. The Lord confirmed that in every life in Jesus' name. Congratulations. You are now saved. The man of God will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these who have responded to your invitation and they have come to you as sinners. Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them pardon, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life, and the joy of salvation in Jesus' name. And now it's your time to enjoy the miracles and blessings from the throne of grace. Satan will not reign in your life. Evil spirit will not reign in your life. In your life, the Lord shall reign forever. Over your problems, the Lord shall reign forever. Over that concern that you have, the Lord shall reign forever. That thing will not take your life. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. And that's today's tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. Our glowing privileges from grace to glory. From the time you come to know the Lord by the grace of God and you are born again by grace and you see through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God from that point of grace on to the end to glory. The privileges you have in the kingdom will keep on growing and keep on overflowing and glowing in your life in Jesus' name. There are saints, there are children of God, there are those who are born again and they abide. They are not going out and coming back in, abiding saints under the shadow of the Almighty. He has a shelter and he has an habitation and he has that for those who trust him who depend upon him and there you as the abiding saint you have absolute security in the shelter of the almighty abundant satisfaction that's for you that's for me say it for yourself that's for me you set your love upon him and he sets his love upon you. Abundant satisfaction in the setting of the Almighty. He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And somebody said, Amen. Abiding in believers. That's what Jesus Christ emphasized when he tells those who have believed on him, who have had grace and salvation, their sins have been forgiven, no condemnation now. They are in Christ and he says, abide in me. That's the secret of your security. Abide in me. That's the secret. That's the secret of the grace of God flowing in, in your life. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. You can make the right choice today. Make Jesus your friend. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, you have said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray for those who have called upon you. They want their sins forgiven. They want salvation for their soul. They want their names written in heaven. Save them in Jesus' name. 
forgive their sins in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumuyi. Healing for everyone. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Lame, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for those who have any kind of a disease they were born with, take it away in Jesus' name. And the power of serpents, of scorpions, of evil spirits, of evil power, of demonic oppression, cancel it in Jesus' name. Everything that is negative is swept away in Jesus' name. 